Thank you for helping mama focus. Hey, it's Nick. Thanks so much for tuning into this week's video. My last video I put out, I asked you guys to ask me some questions for my Q&A video and you guys delivered, so. This Q&A video is celebrating that I hit my 400 subscriber mark. So thank you all so, so much for subscribing to all of those who have. Feel free to sit down, grab a cup of tea, and let's chat. I announced my Q&A video on Instagram, Facebook, and my YouTube channel, as well as an anonymous question asking app called Ask FM. All of those links will be in my description if you would like to follow my social medias. Since I was asking across multiple platforms, I did actually get a few repeat, repeat, repeat questions. So I will be answering those repeat questions that I got from multiple people a little bit later in the video. It was part of an FAQ. So if you did ask me a question and I did not answer it. when I get you a shout out, it's because I will be answering it just a little bit later. So don't worry, I am not skipping you. Getting right into it, let's begin with the people who asked me questions directly under the YouTube video where I announced my Q&A and asked you guys to send me some questions. The first person that we are going to answer is CNK Equestrian. CNK Equestrian asks, do you plan on getting any more horses? Well, yes, eventually, of course. Uh, right now, I don't own any horses of my own. Um, Chance actually belongs to Sandy's family. His mother is the registered owner and she is kind enough to let me work with him, to let me play with him, to let me ride him. So I'm very grateful for that. And if you're watching, thank you very much. I am very grateful for the opportunity to get to go out with Chance, and yes. So eventually, yes, but at the moment, no, I do not plan on getting any more horses. It's just not in the cards financially for me. The next person who asked me multiple questions, actually, is Ariel Wilson. Sorry if I said your name wrong, Ariel or Ariel. Let's start with her first question. What is your favorite equine movie? Um, well, hands down, the original animated spirit, nothing can ever come close to it, and the new one is garbage, and you'll never convince me to watch it. Next question. What is your favorite thing about equines? Well, definitely my favorite thing about horses is the way they make me feel. I always found the presence of horses and the company of horses very calming, very relaxing. I like being around them, I like taking care of them, I like riding them. So yeah, that, that's definitely my favorite thing about equines and horses in general. If you get another equine, what would you name him or her? Something cute, something normal, or something ironic? I think that would really depend on their personality, what they looked like, you know, what vibes I got from them basically, but I do actually have a video where I shared some of my favorite horse names that I saw or that I just thought of. I would most likely pick from that name list if I felt any of those names like truly fit them. What do you feed your equine? Hay, oats, etc. So since Chance is not mine, um, I am not the one who goes to decide what he eats, but I do know that in the winter he eats senior horses. <laughs> But that's only in the winter because um, the grass isn't growing as well and he just lives in a pasture. He's on pasture board, so 90% of the time you can catch him eating grass. He also gets hay in the winter or any time that we trailer him. So hay, grass, and senior feed. What treats do you give your equine if you give treats, that is? He is obsessed with treats. He is quite food motivated. Um, he has a favorite treat. It's pink, it's a little peppermint treat, and it comes in a bag that has a gray horse that looks kind of like him on it. So I think that's the original reason why the first bag of those treats was ever purchased for him. And then, of course, I also like to bake him treats, like homemade treats, so we know exactly what's in it, and they can be healthy or uh, at least sort of healthy. <laughs> Another question from Ariel or Ariel, can you do more equine terminology videos? 
Yes, of course. Okay, I'm back. You might notice there's been a lighting change. Maybe, I don't know. It is an hour or so later because my camera died, so I had to ch charge the battery. <laughs> but back to filming. Next person who's asked me a question on YouTube is Puppy Lover 1509. Do you do jumps? Yes, but not with chance. He's more of a trail horse. He doesn't really know how to jump. They also ask, how old is Chance? He recently just turned 22. How many saddle pads do you have? Well, a lot. <laughs> I probably have somewhere in the range of like upper teens to maybe 20. Comment down below if you want to see my saddle pad collection actually. How old are you? Uh, I am 20. Aw. Sandy asks, how do you feel about Tennessee walkers? And also, how do you feel about Paso Finos? Thank you for the question, Sandy. Um, Tennessee walkers and Paso Finos, I feel neutrally <laughs> about. They're beautiful. I don't really have much experience riding either of them. Are you even a horse girl? I have ridden a Paso Fino before oh. at one of the barns that I worked at for a little bit. I got to experience the Corto, which was like super cool. It felt very smooth. It felt kind of like I wasn't even doing anything, just sitting there. But I've never really ridden any sort of Tennessee walking horse. Um, I will say that I am not a fan of Big Lick. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. That's a no from me. And that's a good lead into the next question on my YouTube video, which is from Kaylee. Kaylee asks, have you ever ridden a gated horse? And yes. Next person to ask me questions was Lioness Child. They had several. First one was, what is your horse's breed? Chance is a registered Arabian APHA crossbreed. So he, his mom was an Arabian and his dad was an American pink horse. What routine do you have for your hair? Um, honestly, I just wash it, um, every three to four days, and then in between that, I just rinse it with water, and I just let it air dry. I found for my personal hair type, for my hair, every three to four days is good for me. What is your favorite kind of music and favorite artist? I guess one of my favorite genres would probably be either country or jam bands. And if I had to pick a favorite artist, I would probably say The Grateful Dead. And finally, the last YouTube comment that I got was from Miss Piggies to Piggies. She asks, what is your riding pet peeve? To be honest, I think it's poor sportsmanship in and out of the arena. The way you treat your horse and everyone else around you says a lot about you. And when you have poor sportsmanship, like you get mad at your horse, you hit your horse, you say disparaging things about other riders, you openly judge everyone. That's not a good look. And honestly, I feel like it de defeats the whole purpose of the sport, which is to have fun and enjoy horses with people who also enjoy riding horses. Bad sportsmanship. Number one pet peeve. Moving on to people who asked me via Facebook from the post that I put out, there was only two. So starting with the first person who asked me, Michael asks, is there anywhere in where people can learn to ride? Um, so I've beeped out the location. Of course, he will know what I'm talking about but we do not want to be doxxed. So yes, of course, Michael, there are lots of places in the area that you can learn to ride. I personally have not lived in that area for over half a decade. So if you Google riding facilities or riding schools or barns in said area, you can expect to drive 45 minutes to an hour to get to those locations. So. Definitely, but expect to drive, unfortunately. Um, and Paige also says, why don't you just call it an e-question? 
Good point, Paige. They are called the questions now. <laughs> so, for the next e question, <laughs> we're headed over to Instagram. Olivia Ashley asks, do you have any writing equipment that has sentimental value to you? Yes, actually I do. I have two pieces that have sentimental value. Firstly, the saddle that Miss Piggies to Piggies gave me for Christmas. It's the saddle that she used when she first started riding her lease horse. So it's had a lot of love. It's seen a lot of practice hours. So it's, it's very well loved and it will be very well loved by me for a long time. Um, and the second is a bridle that was given to me by a friend of my grandparents before they passed away. So I will appreciate and love that bridle for many, many years because it is actually like, it's pretty cute, it's pretty fancy and it has a good story behind it. The Project Equestrian from Instagram and also known as the Project Equestrian on YouTube asks, what is something you do every time you interact with your horse? Every time I interact with Chance, I definitely feed him treats. Positive reinforcement for things that I like that he does. For example, whenever I catch him in the field, I always have a treat because I really want him to come to me and I want him to associate me with very positive emotions. And since he is very good at I will always have a treat and hold it out to me and let him come to me. So he is the one who decides to come to me. I will never chase him. Um, she also asks, what is your goal for your channel? I hope you do more tutorials and how-tos. I think you do a great job of those. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, the compliment and I, I like to make those. So I think I will probably do more tutorials and stuff like that. Um, and my goal for my channel, I started it for fun because I like sharing my equestrian experiences, vlogging and documenting what I've been doing. So I think the goal for my channel is just to share my horse experience, share my knowledge, create a community. I'd love to hit a thousand subscribers pretty soon. Yeah, my goal for my channel is just to create a community and to have fun and to share my equestrian experiences with all of you. Nicole LaPecca asks, also known as Miss Piggies to Piggies, uh, she asks, why are you the best? Also, how do you keep your legs so still? Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> How do I keep my legs so still? TBH girl, I don't think I do keep my leg very still. I always feel like I'm sitting in a rocking chair and that uh, I'm a potato sack filled with mud. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, moving on to questions that I have gotten that are repeats, so I'm going to call this session. <laughs> I got asked this question by Casey Entertainment 98 on YouTube, um, also anonymous, anonymously and by CNK Equestrian. They ask, what is your favorite horse breed? To that, I would have to say probably Thoroughbreds. Just Thoroughbreds have always had a special place in my heart. The first horse that I ever leased was an off the track. I feel like I've had like a riding career, long love of thoroughbreds. Um, and then I was also asked by several people, what is your favorite color of horse? <laughs> My answer is kind of basic and some of y'all might think I'm ridiculous. Um, so don't hate me, but I honestly just appreciate a chestnut. Chestnut with chrome is just chef's kiss. Adorable. I don't, I mean, it's, it's basic, yes, but every chestnut horse that I've ever worked with has been a total sweetheart, and I just, you know, I appreciate them. Now, on to the anonymous questions that I got from my Ask Evan. First anonymous question, these will all be anonymous. How many horses have you ridden? I have no idea. Which horse was the first horse? Either a horse named Diamond or a horse named Grace. The longest you've gone without horsing around and the longest amount of days in a row you've horsed around. 
I took a break from horseback riding for a few months when I was in college because I did not have insurance and I felt that was probably not safe. That was so far the longest I've gone without coursing and the most amount of days I've gone in a row riding would probably be a summer. Which activity on a horse is the most physically strenuous? It depends on what you're talking about. For the horse or for the rider? For the horse, I want to say probably endurance. Or maybe I, I would say a cross country because I mean it's so strenuous that they legit need a vet check before and after they go to make sure they haven't injured themselves. For the rider, I would say either cross country or show jumping just because those are things that I've experienced and I thought were very physically strenuous. Best types of bits for beginners and then in parentheses they have gentle or harsh. Uh, gentle. <laughs> if anybody is not experienced with riding and with using equestrian equipment, it's obviously best to start with the most gentle equipment you can, i.e. snaffles. Even better if it was plastic. And finally, what is the shortest slash tallest horse you have ever ridden? I wrote down the conversions right here because I don't I don't know math, so I had to do it earlier. The shortest horse I've ever ridden was 13 hands, which is about 4.3 feet or uh, 1.3 meters. And the tallest horse I've ever ridden was probably somewhere around 18 hands, maybe a little taller, maybe a little bit shorter, which is around six feet or two meters. So that concludes the Q&A video for my 400 subscriber special. Thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed and who have clicked that like button. If you've watched this far in the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, bye.